Hello and welcome to Penn Station in the heart of New York City. Today we are going to be taking a look around the incredible Moynihan Train Hall before hitching a ride on the Long Island Railroad out to Jamaica and on to JFK as we prepare to head back to Austin. Moynihan Train Hall is Penn Station's most recent expansion, taking over the Beaux Farley Post Office building. Phase 1 of construction on the expansion began in 2010 with the construction of a new concourse under the Farley building, which was completed in 2017. Phase 2, which included the construction of the train hall itself, commenced in 2017, and the expansion was opened on January 1, 2021. The Farley building is gorgeous, constructed of ornate granite, with Corinthian columns lining the entrance of the building. Though the sides are not traditional columns, they still bear the Corinthian capital seen throughout the structure. A quick walk down 31st Street brings us to the south entrance of Moynihan. Moynihan Train Hall serves Amtrak and Long Island Railroad trains exclusively, with New Jersey Transit served by the original Penn Station complex. Taking our first steps inside, it's immediately clear just how nice of a station Moynihan really is, and we're not even at the main train hall. Gone are the low ceilings and dingy floors of Penn Station, with incredible lighting combined with a modern style. Before we head to the main train hall, let's head upstairs to see what else the station has to offer. The second floor at Moynihan is set to be used for retail space, including shops and a full-service food court. Unfortunately, at the time of filming, the majority of the space up here is still under construction. But there's still this very cool glass ceiling, letting in plenty of natural light on this rather sunny day in NYC. After that rather disappointing tangent, let's head back downstairs to the main hall. Inscribed on the floor just beyond the stairway is this roundel commemorating the 110 years of service from Penn Station, with the state motto Excelsior engraved alongside the names of Penn Station and Moynihan Train Hall. Now it's time to head to the main concourse and take in the greatness that is Moynihan Train Hall. The main concourse is gorgeous. The 31,000 square foot hall sits beneath a four section glass ceiling with beautiful steel arches supporting each skylight. In the center of the room is a giant four-faced clock measuring 12 feet high and 6 feet wide, suspended from the central arch. The far wall reads the namesake for the station, Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan, who championed the project while in office. The main concourse serves tracks 5 through 16, with the west end serving the same tracks as the main concourse in addition to tracks 17 through 21. A welcome addition to the expansion are these electronic information points. They include maps, transportation information, and things to do. The system is very cool, but it could certainly use some polish, as I often found that the system misinterpreted where I tapped and brought me into the wrong menu. The one distinct feature missing from Moynihan is any semblance of seating for waiting passengers. All throughout the concourse are people sitting on the floor with their backs against the stairwells down to the tracks. It's a little ridiculous that the newest and nicest station in the Northeast lacks such a basic amenity as seating. It has been said that the lack of seating is to prevent homeless people from spending time there, but that certainly doesn't seem like a good enough reason to not include seats at all. This issue became more pronounced during the holiday rush in 2021, where hundreds of passengers were seen sitting on the floor all over the station, with more wandering the halls looking for places to sit. New York lawmakers have come out against this lack of seating, stating that, quote, there is not nearly sufficient public seating available at Moynihan, and, quote, to ensure that everyone can enjoy this public good, we request the installation of additional seating. After taking in the beauty of Moynihan Train Hall, it's time to continue on with our journey out to Jamaica. If you're enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button down below. It's totally free and it really helps support the channel. I would love to keep making these videos for as long as possible and your support helps me continue to do so. And be sure to hit that bell icon while you're down there so you never miss another video. It's a new day here in NYC and we're picking up where we left off in the main concourse of Moynihan Train Hall. Before heading down to the tracks, we need to buy our tickets. 
Long Island Railroad tickets are available from the ticketing area on the west side of the concourse. Our journey today would first take us out to Forest Hills to do some filming of the morning rush on the Long Island Railroad before continuing on to Jamaica and then JFK. It's just before 7.15 a.m. and the sun is starting to rise above the New York skyline, coating the station hall in an orange glow. The concourse is pretty empty this morning, with just a few commuters trickling in and out of the station. Our train this morning, the 722 Jamaica train, is set to depart shortly. However, no track is indicated on the displays around the waiting area. We don't have to wait long, however, as it's soon announced that our train will be departing out of track 14. Heading down the escalators brings us down to track level. Waiting for us on track 14 is a set of Bombardier M7 EMUs, ready to take us out to Jamaica this morning. I decided to move down a few cars before boarding to find one with fewer people in it, but not wanting to miss our train, I hopped on before getting very far. For our quick journey today, I'm seated in a group of four towards the front of the car. Despite this being a group of four, there really isn't enough room for four people to sit here, as there's only about eight inches between my knees and the other seats. There are aisle armrests made of a rubber material, but there are none in between each seat in a row. Overall, it's pretty standard stuff. Soon after getting seated, the doors close and our train departs for its quick trip out to Jamaica. As we begin our journey, let's take a quick look at some stats about our train and Moynihan Train Hall. Our train this morning is the 722 AM service to Jamaica, and is driven by six Bombardier M7 EMUs. Each M7 set is powered by four Mitsubishi Electric AC traction motors, producing 265 horsepower each for a total of 1,060 horsepower per EMU. M7s are rated for a top speed of 100 miles per hour, but operate at a top speed of 80 miles per hour. Opened on January 1st, 2021, Moynihan Train Hall was built as an expansion to the aging and congested Penn Station, which saw over 650,000 daily passengers in 2020. The entire complex occupies the former U.S. Post Office James A. Farley Building and spans a total of 486,000 square feet, costing a total of $1.6 billion for the renovation and construction. We don't have far to go on our journey today, so let's take a look at the bathroom on board while we have a second. The bathroom in this set is in the next car down, so we pass through the heavy doors into the next coach. The large sliding door allows for easy access. The bathroom itself is very standard and is identical to the rest of the Long Island Railroad fleet. The faucet and dryer are motion activated but are clearly a bit finicky. The bathroom is certainly functional but it's not the nicest on the Long Island Railroad fleet. Walking back through our train shows just how empty it is this morning. I know this was a very early morning service, but even still, there were almost no people on board. It doesn't take long after departing Penn Station before arriving at Jamaica. The final step in our journey today is catching a ride on the air train out to JFK.
The air train is served by the station annex on the south side of Jamaica. Before boarding, I need to reload my Metro card. There are plenty of ticket kiosks around for passengers to use, so I pick one and reload my card. The air train fare is $7.75, which is a little on the pricey side, but it is a direct service from Jamaica to JFK, which saves a ton of time over a cab or other transit methods. That being said, the air train is free to use as an inter-terminal train while at JFK, with the fare only applying to journeys that start and end at Jamaica or Howard Beach. After reloading my card, we can scan through the barriers and onto the air train platforms. There are three air train lines, with two outer loop trains and one inner loop train. The outer loops go to Jamaica and Howard Beach, with the inner loop staying at JFK. It's not long before our train arrives for our last stint on this trip out to JFK. The fare seems a little high for this line until you're actually on board and cruising past cars and traffic below. What would have been a 30 to 40 minute journey by car is now cut to a quick 10 minute ride by train, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Before we know it, we're pulling into JFK's Terminal 2 station and the end of the line for today's journey. Next week, I'll be back in the Bay Area to see what Caltrain has to offer from Millbrae to San Jose. If you want to be around when more videos get posted, hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free and it really helps support the channel. If you liked the video, drop it a like too. Likes help push my content to more awesome viewers like you, and the more people who like my content, the more trips I can take in the future. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for riding with me, and I'll see you in the next one.